to you on YouTube. We got your gaming needs. What's on top? Exotic exactly. sweets. The spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberta. And I'm Lisa Dwan. We're going to present all the goodies we've gathered, which we will discuss and probably argue. But luckily for all of us, there's a mute button that we each can only use once when we want the other person to shut up. Uh, yeah. We'll see if Lisa actually uses it today. Remember, we like when you call us out when we're wrong in phrases, when we're spitting truth. So let's get to it, shall we? My first story focuses on Razor Brazil, who has dropped an influencer for reasons. Last week, streamer Gabriela Catuzzo tweeted that men are trash after being sexually harassed online. The thread went viral, and many accused Catuzzo of being more toxic than the commenters asking to have sex with her. Razor Brazil said that Catuzzo's statement was discrimination against gamers and that it would not support those who engage in discrimination. Catuzzo has since taken a break from social media and streaming, setting death threats that her family and friends have received. <sighs> Marissa, you want to pop off on this one, or uh, what should... You know, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let her simmer on this, because there is a little bit of context behind all of this. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, she initially said men are trash because of all the comments she was getting on a photo. Mm. Uh, but then she did follow up and said things like, okay... Yes, there are some exceptions. So not all men are trash. There are exceptions. But I get a lot of these comments all the time, mm. and you guys are disgusting. Like, that's kind of what she said. So there is an element she did acknowledge there are exceptions, okay? Now pop off. Go. No, that, that's the thing. There are, of course, two sides to the story, right? Yeah. Um, and hers, I, you know, want to empathize with only because, like, when you're being, when you're pushed to a certain point in your mind, like trolls can do that too. That that's why they're good at trolling, right? Mm -hmm. Like they say things and they get to you, and that's their bottom line. That's what they want to do. They want to get to you, and they did. They got to her, right? So, of course, she's gonna say a blanket statement. Men are trash. Yeah. Which, obviously, we have so many amazing men in our lives, and I'm sure she does too. She does not mean it. Yes, Seb, of course. I mean you, baby. Uh, <laughs> our cameraman Seb's like, me? Um, <laughs> no, I just feel like it's unfortunate because, yes, we do this sometimes when we're upset. We'll yeah. just say things that maybe we don't mean or some things that are taken out of context. I think that it's unfair that she was provoked to this point. Um, I think it's unfair that she's now been... Taken, her sponsorship is taken away. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's okay. Women do. I, I get it that a lot of men think that women get what we want because you know we can wear a certain thing or behave a certain way, and we get views over men on Twitch or whatever it is. Like I get that you think that and why you think you're being marginalized. But trust me when I tell you that women are are far more marginalized on these platforms mm -hmm. than anyone can possibly imagine. Especially if you're not in that situation. Like you don't know the kind of abuse that she's going through. You have no clue. So yeah. the fact that you're like people are just sending death threats, death threats to her family that have, who have nothing to do with this is not okay. It's completely unfair. Yeah, I mean, both sides, like, I think this is part of internet culture where we mm. all speak in hyperbole. Yeah. So when she said men are trash, it was definitely a generic statement, blanket yeah. statement that she later went on to clarify before Razor Brazil mm. pulled her pulled their sponsorship, yeah. which is really shining light on Brazil's Razor branch for like, mm. guys, you're missing the big point here. Yeah, uh, yeah it's really unfortunate this happened. But it, it's too bad, and, and it's too bad these relationships are burned, and now like I'm looking at Razor differently as well, like Razor yeah. Brazil differently. Like yeah. it's, it's unfortunate because they, they're saying that she's discriminating against gamers, so then they're basically saying that gamers are men, mm. right? So like we can take their comments, their blanket yeah. comment out of context too. How does that feel? Yeah, there you go. How does that so we're just gonna have to wait for Razor uh, to step up and say mm. their statement because, yeah, we want to know what you think, Razor. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on, sometimes memes are born from the strangest places. This week, a column in the Wall Street Journal by attorney Mike Kerrigan argued that kids these days should build forts inside and outside of their homes <laughs> instead of playing Fortnite. No, this is not a parody article. This is for real. The subhead for the column states that Fortnite doesn't hold a candle to my boyhood games of Fortnite. <laughs> Social media quickly began to mock the piece and it has become a full-fledged meme in less than a day. So, uh, some of the best ones we have to talk about, though, include um, Pokemon doesn't hold a candle to my boyhood games of make a snake fight a duck. <laughs> and, and Mortal Kombat doesn't hold a candle to my boyhood days of ripping a whole spine out of a man's neck hole or holding his still beating heart in your hands as he collapses Yay. to the ground. The good old days, uh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I saw one too of Ben Silverman had tweeted saying, uh, Candy Crush doesn't hold a candle to my boyhood joy of eating candy. <laughs> like, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can't, like, what kind of, it's just so funny, like, the way people, like, the creative people in our lives come up with certain things, like, writers have to come up with different articles, right? So, yeah. like, how can you compare Fortnite to 
something in his childhood. <laughs> Building I used to build forts. forts. Let's think about forts and like the fort knights. That I'm gonna call them fort knights. First of all, nobody. When you build forts as a kid, like you build them during the day too. So I don't know what this like oh fort knight thing Technicality. is about. No, seriously, like, we, like yeah. this, it's just so stupid. Yeah, this is so dumb. And I get that it was written like seriously, but I do like that it's given all of us something to laugh at. People are so creative. There's another Grand Theft Auto one I loved. It's like yeah. it brings me back to childhood memories of you know stealing cars. It's like oh Jesus. Oh, Oh, oh wow. geez. Uh, <laughs> but okay, so I think the point of the article was to raise like kids nowadays aren't as creative as they used to be. Because before we used to play make believe, build forts, but now they're just playing online. Do you agree with this kind of I sentiment? I completely disagree with that. Kids now more than ever are the most creative they've ever been, and we can thank games for that, especially games like Minecraft. My goodness, like kids building and, and also like be you have to build in Fortnite too. Kids are yeah. kids that can play Fortnite are incredibly talented at, play, at playing video games. It's not easy to do. Yeah. Like the whole when the building comes in for me, I'm just like, hey, I, I'm yeah. out. Like, yeah. I, can't, I can't even do it. These kids are amazing at what they do. I, I yeah. think that that statement is completely unjust. It's just like people saying that violence in video games makes us violent in real life. Like, it's it's the same kind of sentiment. It's super, it's so dumb and completely founded in nothing. It's literally just, it's a different kind of creative and everyone who doesn't get it, yeah. you're living in the past, dude. Join oh, us man. in the future where oh, we build know, differently. Oh, oh. That's right. I'm saying mm -hmm. we, but we're kind of old. So okay, well, we didn't just talk about that. Okay. Famous streamer and newly elected village idiot Dr. Disrespect had his channel unbanned from Twitch after two weeks. He was originally banned from streaming himself, entering multiple bathrooms at E3, which violated both California law and Twitch terms of service. The doc has acknowledged the unbanning, but some are arguing that Twitch is being far too lenient on its ban because he is such a big streamer. Lisa, do you think a two-week ban was enough for what he did? Like, should Twitch maybe be more or less lenient for top streamers? Uh, I think the fact when you were just explaining the story, yeah. he violated California law. Yeah. Uh, what's happening legally here? Is, yeah. that, is anything happening legally? Why yeah. is nothing happening to yeah. punish that the fact that he broke a law, guys? Uh, well, I'll tell you why. It's why? Uh, that thing that we like to call top player <gasps> privilege. He's no. a top streamer. He gets top streamer privilege. Uh, anyone else that would have done something like this for sure would have been banned. Maybe received a lifetime ban from Twitch. Uh, I don't know if he like if he has spoken about that more mm -hmm. as well on his stream, if he's no. even said. No, he like, should because he should acknowledge his own privilege You know here. the crazy thing is? So he's been banned for two weeks. He yeah. hasn't even streamed again yet. Uh -huh. But literally the day where his ban was done, people went to his channel when yeah. he wasn't streaming, subscribed, yeah. followed. He got an increase of followers yeah. again. Even yeah. when he wasn't streaming. It's yeah. crazy the fact that this actually brought him more publicity, more followers, more subscribers, more yeah, money. Yeah, we live in that world where um, things, when people do something wrong, they get rewarded for it, which is why more and more people are doing wrong things, and we live in this awful, crumbling society yeah. that nobody can fix. I mean, I'm trying here. I'm trying, but I feel like I'm drowning. Uh, Dr. Disrespect, unfortunately, listen, I love him. I think he's super entertaining, but yeah. what he did was obviously wrong, and he did fire his director that was... Um, I know, he did say that he fired him. I mean, maybe it was his idea. Who knows? It was the first time anything like that was done or he did anything like that at anywhere because he this is the first time he streamed uh, IRL okay fair he's this is the first time he's done something like that but yeah. you know he has a track record of doing unethical things mm -hmm. uh, stopping streaming for a bit and coming back and getting an explosion of followers again it's like yeah. he found a formula mm -hmm. that he's able to mix himself in controversy but yeah. not to an extent where he would be you know legally held accountable well, but this is really all benefiting him guys. for sure again top streamer privilege he can take breaks he can I, I mean he would have taken this break to his advantage too like did he go on vacation did he live his life did he enjoy some nice time off I mean he could have because he's not beholden to fans or people subscribing to him because he didn't have to be there so the fact that he's listen if you're giving him your money like I guess that's on you that's your prerogative yeah. he he has it though he's good and twitch makes a lot of dough from yeah. him so I mean I, I get why he was brought back it's unfortunate yeah. and maybe we're just salty because we don't have that kind of top player privilege like maybe if we did we wouldn't not be talking yet. about it <laughs> no really yet. like we don't know we could just be it's true uh, maybe he spent the last two weeks cooking up his next scheme because watch six months from now he's gonna do it again oh Oh, All right, for our last story, we're taking a look at Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick. Specifically, he's under fire because he earned 30 million US dollars in financial compensation last year, the majority of which came from stock options. This is the same year where Activision Blizzard laid off uh, nearly 800 employees due to poor financials. This comes a few days also after it was revealed that EA's executive team gave up their bonuses for the year in order to ensure EA employees would keep their annual bonuses. Uh, this story is actually 
actually very complex because there's a little bit more context to this. So in January, the company announced a stock buyback program, uh, which basically would allow it to purchase almost like 1.5 billion worth of stock mm. right before cutting all those jobs. Mm. And then in May, they paid out all the dividends to their shareholders. And because they just got a bunch more stocks, their cut was yeah. hefty, OK? Yeah. So this was kind of almost like planned or they knew it was happening and they decided to make their money out of it, you know, make their buck. Yeah. Uh, so Marissa, how do you feel about, you know, Mr. Um, Kotek here? Well, I, I hope that he is, if he's being investigated, he's being legitimately investigated Not legitimately here and yet. Not well, okay. They're raising See, questions. That's, that's the thing, because that sounds like insider trading to me. Like that's what that sounds like. I, if he, if especially if he knows something is going to go down, uh, if they can short a stock. I've been watching a lot of billions, guys. Have you? So uh, I'm really into this, this life is right really now. Sexy. I don't, I don't invest. Oh. I don't do that. I don't do that yet in my life. But uh -huh. like now that I'm hearing all this stuff, I'm like, ooh, this is like a, this Talk could be like a seedy <laughs> underworld. Because there's a lot of lying yeah. that goes on just to trick shareholders, right? Or trick those who have stocks to maybe let them go for a certain amount of money, like their employees had to do. So um, it's it's pretty shady. Uh, this is unfortunate because yesterday we were just kind of singing their praises a little bit yeah. for, you know, not taking bonuses. That's wonderful. But why would you take a bonus if you've just taken all the stock options away from your employees anyway? So I guess that was your bonus and you're giving them some incentive to work a little harder. Whoa, um, whoa. EA and Blizzard, just for the record, separate. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. That was Watch EA yourself. Oh, oh, Watch oh, yourself. That was, that was so, so She just sorry, wants sorry. to attack anyone just, at this I'm point. Just, I'm just like shots firing. Yeah, this girl uh, watches yeah, billionaires or whatever and oh. <laughs> I know really because, because honestly, money talks to yeah. all these guys, right? Yeah. Like money is what sings, money is what gets them up in the morning to go to their jobs and do these things. So um, it's unfortunate this is happening for the employees. Um, I, I don't know. I just it like yeah. feels bad, man. Yeah. And what, do you, what, do you, what can you do? Here's the thing. What he did though, it, I think is like a legal loophole. Uh -huh. uh, so it's unethical, but it's not illegal. So we don't know if he's actually going to get investigated. Mm. So the big guys win again, guys. Um, Rip. Top executive privilege. Mm. Okay, it's time to check in with streamers and clip it. Our first clip comes from Kiara Kitty. She had some simple advice for anyone who wants to be seen as skinny. Hmm. You end up including like 100 kilos. It's okay, I'll just go to America. I'll be considered skinny again. True or false, guys? Woohoo! USA! USA! If you realize that you gain weight in Asia, just fly to America. You'll be skinny again in the standard of Americans. Woohoo! Big breakfast! Yikes. Oh. Uh, you know what, though? We, what? She raises kind of a good point. She's making a commentary on beauty standards in different places in the world. That's what she's saying, okay? Let's not take it, let's not take it in the negative way. So in Asia, they obviously have certain beauty standards. A lot of them, not all of them, are smaller, slimmer frame. And so she's saying, she goes to America, where there are, I'm so scared right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, like being very careful. I don't the, think that's what Obviously, I'm not saying I agree with it necessarily, but I see her point. Like, she's making a commentary but, there. But it is commentary on how the rest of the world views yes. Americans and American culture. I mean, Canada falls into it too. We're not, we, we really are the same as Americans when it comes to the way the we eat. Side, yeah. um, well, I mean, whoa, whoa, just whoa, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, the, no, really. That's, I, I'm pretty sure that's what she's referring to here. Cuisine, because the, cause but, the way the outside world views us, we are very gluttonous. No, 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 no. Yes, no, no. You I'm can't put it the same as Americans means. because, like, you've been to the U.S. Yeah. When you go there and you order food, do you notice the size portion part is so different than how we are in Canada? Yeah. That's diff that's the big. That's the main difference. There's a reason why obesity is a big, bigger deal there than it is in Canada. Their portion control. Well, sorry, there is none. You know what I mean? What? I'm for. I feel like I'm forced to eat more because they give me a giant plate with food. But honestly, you don't need all of that. Um. No, that's true. And I think that's why the rest of the world views Americans yeah. that way. I'm just saying we fall into it too because we are so close to them and we do kind of have the same eating patterns, really. Yeah. We eat the same kind of snack foods, Lisa. You know I'm going down on those Doritos. You're doing what? Yeah. So okay, anyway, uh, next up we have <laughs> a clip from Shroud. We haven't featured a sick play of his in a while, so we thought we'd take a peek. Where was this guy jump shooting from? Oh, it was right here. Good job. He's doing this. Let me get the guns. What do they have? Anything? Sorry, Wait, good? could you? Yeah. They had Tommy's. Dang it. Could you go straight there and get Tommy's a pick mid? Times. I'll have to try Tommy's that. Good, yeah. Actually, I got a cool good speed. Mm. STG. I got a good spawn to peak A. STG is insane. I'm going to try it. I like the Thompson though for my play style, so. They made it. They made it. Hey, they made it. Hey. Honestly, dude, like, give me a friggin' break. How? 
I'm not even impressed. How? I'm just like, whatever, dude. You're a god. Whatever. No. Like, <laughs> I, I am impressed by him every single time. Like, his reaction time, his mechanical ability. Like, how? I don't, I don't even, I don't even, I would never even seen that. First of all. Well, that's the point. He didn't see it. He predicted it. Like, he just knew he, the other opponent was going to be there. That's why you're so damn good, Shroud. You know the game. You know the people. When you play long enough, yeah. you just know what yeah. everyone's thinking. When jealous. will we ever get no, to that Literally point? never. Like, literally never. Okay. It No, I can't. Tyler, just stop. <laughs> He's telling me that I have to practice. That's enough. It really is the best time of day when we scroll through the Twitterverse to bring you all the things the pros bless us with on their timeline. It's the best when they ask questions that remind us about yesterday's office meeting. Oh, no. PUBG Pro Balak tweets, any tips I can share with my teammates so they aren't always 10 minutes late? Or do we just show up later, too? Marissa, Lisa, maybe this is Lisa, a, no, answer. you're good. You're good uh, for us to bring this one to you. So well, I know Brody's gone. You decided to take up the late uh, character of the office. No, like I. First of all, y'all are throwing some shade. I come from a different studio in the morning, okay, and I try to get here as soon as possible. But there has been some construction, oh, okay, okay. Um, all right. one. And it's yeah, honestly, it's been taking me later and later to get here. Like you, I'm, I'm honestly bussing. I am bussing to get here, not bussing like on the bus. <laughs> yeah. But I'm bussing. My butt to get here, honking at people, Where's changing that? lanes. It's a scene, man. Just jump and then Tyler's slacking jet. me like I'm Just trying to drive. Just jump on your private jet, take your boat, do yeah, what yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. do, and get here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super on boosh. time. Uh, but that's a good call. You know what? If your teammate's always late, it's going to set a bad precedent. You know? That's you are true. your only your weakest link. So basically, everyone has been late because so of I'm blaming Brody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Marissa's fault. Oh, All yeah. right. <laughs> the following is Cloud9 quoting Gen G's response to a League of Legends NA versus EU rap battle. So Gen G sips tea with their tweet, it's crazy NA can't do anything without Koreans carrying them. Cloud9's response, imagine having five and not getting out of groups at Worlds last year. <laughs> Ooh, I can't do it, but you know what I'm trying to do. Absolute, oh, girl, absolute savagery. That was just, uh, it, mm. they're right. It's so good. Yo, whoever's running Cloud9's social oh. media, give him uh. like a Sense raised because that's be real esports wages. Oof, but that was, that was fire. Yo, if you actually find that tweet, like find it because it's incredible. Like it, <laughs> and uh, if you follow, like if you go in Genji, Genji, because Genji was responding to the rap battle that was happening between NA and EU. Yeah. Like yeah. that rap battle is so good. I just think the talent for both NA and EU they're just astronomical. These guys are fantastic. They're yeah. so much fun to watch. Like even if you don't watch League, you can be so entertained by their talent as well. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they themselves have a battle going on about EU and NA. Oh, no. It's so wonderful. It's best when teams take to social media in public to just yeah. bash each other. Yeah. It's like you know, it's like some guy on social media in the back is like, "How do I shade this?" But yeah. it's great. They're making memes. G two is also a really good one. You want to check them out. Yeah. Like they're just ripping to each other. But that's what makes esports fun. For sure. And you want to see more. Yeah. If you're gonna troll and you're gonna make a comment like that, Genji, like he, they obviously knew something was coming. Like they can't they just, have stuck they their can't head just... in. They, 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 you know, what? it wasn't even their business because this it was an NA versus it EU clip. They yeah. were like LCK popping in, like, eh, trying to troll. It's well, true. you guys got trolled back. <laughs> Oh, stick your head where it doesn't belong. Maybe they just feel left out. Oh, they well, just feel left out. Yeah, they didn't make it at past groups. You know, oh, that's why they rip. felt left out. They wanted to Yo. party with NAU. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> All right, I'm for a last for a fun thought. MJ Cheen captions this photo of COG Pro Temp perfectly. After you carried all 23 bags of groceries to the house in one trip. <laughs> Yo, that's a feat. <laughs> that yeah. really is. Because you know, like, uh, I live in an apartment with stairs, so like, I, I go up all the stairs, but I refuse to leave groceries in the car. I'm going to take them all up. Do they not have an elevator? What are you no. living in, like, a 18th century Yeah, I live in an old building, Lisa. I'm not as bougie as you think. Oh. Yeah. No, I don't have, an, I have only stairs to go up in my older building, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, so I lug up, like... What floor? Oh, maybe you shouldn't reveal that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, never mind. But it's... it's uh, it's a few, it's a few stairs. It's a, it's no a few No wonder your arms look so good. Oh, okay, they don't. That's not true, but like. No, I, they're not that. Oh, oh, guys. Okay. okay. Hog. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough? Okay. Let's move on because it's time to get to some crowd control. This is where we showcase some of the great or simply dank things the community has been making. So one of the games that's highly anticipated at this year's E3 was Watch Dogs. Well, move over because a friendlier, furrier, and man's best game is in town. Introducing oh <laughs> Watch Dogs Legion. Posted by Reddit user Mimtrist, I hope I said that right, you can now watch dogs to your heart's content without Aww. getting your bathroom floor wet. Aww. 
You getting this one? You buy this like dogs. I mean, it just kind of reminds me of Nintendo dogs. Obviously, oh, I sure. used to love playing Nintendo dogs. Uh, it's just <laughs> funny because like you're not really doing anything. It's just like a like a Tamagotchi. Like you, there's no <laughs> real point to it other than like you give a dog a treat and you wash them and you play games, you play fetch. Like there's nothing really to do. Wait a second. But what? Didn't you let your Tamagotchi die last year? Okay, she had first one. of all. It I'm pretty a, sure it was, it was crying a, for it help. It was a Tamagotchi mini, like some some. I don't even want to say what. The word. It was a Elitist? bad version. It was it was garbage. I don't even know what the animal was. It was some kind of snake. Who wants that? Like I wanted a monkey, like I had in the OG days of Tamagotchi. Okay, Tama didn't get it. Tamagotchi is like real. Kind of and then I gave it to Matt Hempstead to take care of. He also let it die because he didn't want to take care of the dumb snake. It's super stupid. <laughs> All Aww. it is is boo. Everyone who loves snakes at home are sad now. No, no, no. I, listen, snakes are cool, man. But I don't want one as a Tamagotchi. I want something free. No. That doesn't make sense. You it does. Don't trust her with your pet. Wait, you just got a dog this year too. I know. Guys, she's the sweetest thing ever. Don't let Peta. No. Oh my God, Lisa. <laughs> don't let. Don't call Peta right they now. They actually are hating on Pokemon. They have come out have against they? Pokemon. Yeah, it's oh a whole my, thing. Oh anyway, okay, moving on. Gaming is getting more and more complicated. Gone are the days of two button spams, and for older gamers, it can get intimidating. I would know. <laughs> so, courtesy of Tattoo my Seriously, tattoo my vagina? Not, I, I didn't make it up. Oh my god, don't tattoo your vagina, people. Here's a breakdown of how console gaming has gotten more complicated. <laughs> okay, so All back right, so then. This is then. Yeah. So, I mean, even then, <laughs> this, is this, is not even, like, this is not even like old gaming. Old gaming is like, oh, two like buttons, the two legit. buttons. Okay, yeah. but like this is pretty simple in the sense there's like you no know, one function per button. Like, yeah, you yeah. can manage that. Okay, but look at now. Oh my god. Look at all these. Is that like, a book? Like this is a whole novel. I mean, I guess the PlayStation controller can be. A okay, so let's oh see some of these. I love how like the the Irish whip standing. <laughs> Pin near ground opponent. Tap, no, the front. best is like the combinations. When you get the triggers in there, it's oh, like yeah, R1 yeah. plus circle plus X plus, you know what I mean? There's like a combination. Yeah, it's like yeah. Mortal Kombat's fatalities for per <laughs> button. <laughs> right? It's true. I can never land those fatalities either because of the timing of these buttons that you need to hit. It's I just, know. it seems impossible. But nowadays, it's like combinations. It's really like people who think gamers aren't using a lot of mechanical skill. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Did you see how many buttons and actions you had to all like do at the same time? Oh my gosh, I know. It's Freaking crazy. Skills. I can't, uh, I, I mean, I mean, obviously, we've had to adapt with the times. Yeah. But I do miss the old days. Even like you had mentioned that your favorite controller was the N64 controller. Like, yeah. Even that was a little more complicated than you know the games that we played before because of like the way the controller was shaped too. Yeah. We all, you, everyone had to adapt to it, right? Yeah. So I guess I, the world is telling us to adapt or die. Guys, look how Grandma's reminiscing. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? <laughs> all right, let's move on. Anyone a fan of Mordow? For those who don't know, Mordow is the hottest game right now, especially for its extreme realism. Submitted by Bioshock 1998, here is just a small taste of what you could encounter in the game. Oh, 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 got busted because of that. <laughs> but okay, okay, you're saying what the hell? There's yeah. actually a backstory behind this that okay. Zurich so ever patiently explained it to me, okay? Oh, so amazing. when you enter character selection in the game, it takes you to a certain point in the universe, okay? Mm -hmm. um, however, some players actually manage to find this spot in the world, and so they would stand mm -hmm. there and start spamming in their voice lines. So you can be playing the game and you want to go to character select, right? You click character select and bam, you're at this window, all of a sudden <laughs> there are people standing there just spamming and yelling at you, and you're just like, oh what the God. hell? So oh Zurich said he hasn't been able to find the spot yet on the map, so it's like this random spot. Where you just, but where you just respawn? Okay, yeah. Like, it's wherever you would have spawned. If everyone spawns there, but no, how no, would that it's be? Not. It's just like so when you go into character select, there's like a very fadey background. Yeah. But it's a real point in the map, so you can't tell where it is. But somehow someone found it, oh and they would just stand there and God. spam and heckle you. Like isn't that that's freaking incredible. hilarious? I just want to play the game to discover that. Yeah, and there's so many customizations. Zurich was like, totally, it's Steam sale right now, guys. Go get the game. Go try it out. Just, ah. Okay, that's yeah, a time you to remember. You can always hit us up on our socials just to say hi or send us stuff to react. Do someone type in exclamation mark socials right now in chat for all of our channels. We'll see you next time. <laughs>